What's going on today, guys? Another absolutely beautiful day in Vancouver, and welcome to another episode of, episode of the Daily Sea Show. I'm really excited for you guys to be here today, and basically what I want to talk about today is why I chose to sign for the Navan grads in the CCHL, and I want to explain kind of the reasoning behind that, because you know what? It's important to understand the why, and not sometimes it, you don't just want to know exactly what, because what goes into something is really what determines a lot about it. So really excited to share this with you guys. Um, really excited to be part of Navan and just can't wait to get started next year. But continuing to enjoy my development this summer has been a lot of fun. And thanks for joining me, guys. So let's cut straight to it. Why did I sign in a van? Um, so the reason I signed with the grads is basically because I've played a consistent amount of junior. So I played four years of junior hockey and I played my first 16 year old year in junior C. I played three years in the GOJHL and junior B. And it's the natural progression that I'm ready to take that next step up. And the big reason why I want to take this step up isn't necessarily a knock on Junior B, but rather it's just the benefits of playing at a Tier 2 level in a place that has more scouts. And that's really the focus of this, is that as a player that's really trying to go Division 1, and that's my focus, I want to go where I have the highest chances of being seen by the most people and the right people. Now, in Junior B, we still get scouts out, guys are still going from there, but typically it tends to be younger guys. Now, for the older guys who are 19, 20, sometimes even 18, but usually like 19, 20, last two years of junior, the best kind of place that you can be is going to be somewhere where you're basically going to, it's a league that where they know that when you're an older guy, your goal is to play at a higher level. Um, when it comes to junior B, typically when you're at that 19, 20 year old age, they kind of assume that you're trying to kind of go in the direction of more school focused in Canada and you're not focused on going to the States to play hockey and go to school. So <laughs> even though uh, that can maybe even sounds a little bad, but obviously hockey is extremely, extremely high level and high level division one. So the focus ends up being focused around kind of playing that, playing that hockey at a high level while attaining a really nice scholarship and setting yourself up for whatever job you want to do after hockey or being able to take that step up into professional hockey. So that's ultimately the main focus of why I chose there. Now, um, some common questions I usually would get would be, um, why did I choose to play in the CCHL? And what was the reason behind that? Um, so the reason behind choosing the CCHL wasn't really necessarily um, a big uh a big difference between um, between BCHL, CCHL, um, then you have NH NOJHL, OJHL. Um, I think all those tier two leagues seem to have like good scouting. Um, I know that BCHL typically has kind of the best from what I understand. And then CCHL kind of comes in second as far as I've been told. And then of course, Alberta, I can, I'm blanking on the name of the actual league, but they also have solid scouting there so this is my honest interpretation of it and this isn't coming from this is coming from a collection of different thoughts this isn't just like my straight opinion this is well this is my opinion coming from everyone else's uh, different perspective so my thought was is that as far as cchl goes it typically seems to have really really good scouting typically it's because it's being close to the border and close for schools to be able to come over send scouts over to come watch groups of games so as far as I understand there's not too much travel in the in the CCHL tier one league so it makes it a little more convenient for a scout to come over and watch a bunch of games so that's really the big pull there for me is to get seen by more scouts in the in the Ottawa league I think that's gonna give me a really good opportunity it's gonna set me up for that division one scholarship now why did I choose Navan and what was the kind of thought process what why why did I do that 
Now, the reason I chose to go to Navan is because they have, they're basically, they had a kind of an off year last year from what I understand. They didn't perform as well as they kind of hoped. And basically now they've kind of reset kind of the coaching staff and the management and everything and for the most part and they kind of their their goal is to kind of rebuild the character in the room so they're gonna have basically have a lot newer of a team um, a lot of new faces and it's gonna be a really really awesome opportunity for everybody coming in to come together create an amazing culture in the room and then prove that through bringing in the right guys and the right culture you can build an amazing team and you can do some really big things now this is something that they did in Stratford last year. I think Paul Jennings did an amazing job recruiting last year. And we were able to go from, I think we finished fifth the year before, or they finished fifth. I wasn't on the team the previous year. And then they ended, we ended up finishing second in the league. Uh, playoffs easily could have been a huge performance, but as far as the season went, performed really, really well and made that huge step up. So, And this is with all new faces. We barely had any guys from the year before back, so it was... It's pretty crazy to almost have a new team and be able to perform so well. So I'm excited to do that again and really build a culture in the room. And it was it was honestly just so much fun last year. It was so exciting and we had such a good good group of guys. So I I can't wait to meet all these new guys in event and really build a, a great brotherhood in the room and really try to lead that team, lead our team to a championship. So it's um, as far as I understand the league has been known to have um, some really good top teams there. So it's kind of our chance to, to step in and prove that we can come together. And by the end of the year, by playoff time, we're going to be meshed together after those, I believe it's 62 games, come in and absolutely crush it. So I'm super, super fired up for that. I can't wait. Um, not a ton of little info in this one, not as much of a, a helping uh, conversation, more as a me just explaining my decision. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Thanks a lot for watching today. If you have any more questions about my decision or any more questions about training or whatever you want to ask me about my hockey career, my journey, um, make sure to hit me up. Hit me up in the comment section here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I really appreciate everybody sitting around to watch this. And I'm, I absolutely, it makes me so happy that people take the time to, uh, to join me on my journey and to support me. I appreciate all the comments that I've gotten, all the personal messages. Um, all the likes, all the follows, um, all the subscriptions. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I, this summer has been absolutely life-changing for me, especially being up in Vancouver, completely changing my lifestyle. Um, and I can't wait to go to Ottawa. It's going to be absolutely crazy to go from Ontario, so to go from Paris, um, and then obviously Stratford, and then all the way across the country to British Columbia, and then come back across. Now I'm going to be stopping at home for a bit just for a couple days and then we're right back. We're in the van now and going to be in the van then and then we're ready to roll. So, so happy. So my life is absolutely awesome. Like I, I couldn't have asked for it any better. I've had the question asked before, what would you change about your career? And what would you, uh, if you could go back, what would you change? And I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. I, life, is, life is meant to play out the way it does. Um, and it's your job to read react and make the right calls and make the right decisions as your as your life unfolds it's on you to make your life what you want it to be you can't just sit back and hope it happens so take initiative um, like i have been doing and really try to be that person you want to be not just who you are but push towards who you want to become and that's what's going to turn you into exactly who you want to be and get you get you exactly where you want to go so thanks a lot for watching guys and i will see you in the next episode of the daily c show.